Hey everyone and welcome back to the Dot Father. Today we're going to be talking about Moonbeam Network. This is the second parachain that got accepted into the Polkadot ecosystem that with a single line of code you would be able to deploy inside of Polkadot. What we want to go ahead and discuss is the Moonbeam dashboard. Uh, so here you can see the crown loan rewards that I received for my participation for staking my, my dots uh, into the network for the next two years. Um, you can see my balance, how many Glimmer tokens I have, how am I logging in into my uh, MetaMask. Uh, and here we can see the staking, and this is exactly what we're going to be reviewing today. Okay, so here you can see the delegations, how I manage the delegations, and selecting a specific collator. A collator is just a fancy way of just saying a validator, someone who will be validating or producing blocks for uh, the Moonbeam blockchain. Uh, here is a bunch of different lists. Uh, that go about uh, in terms of staking, um, how many uh, each have bonded themselves, how many total Glimmer tokens are, and of course, the most important, the minimum bond. Uh, I'm going to be giving a review on this as well, and if it's actually worth it to do some Moonbeam staking, because it, it's actually pretty frustrating. Um, but here we can see that I'm, I'm just uh, giving a, a, a simple scenario with DVS on how to stake 50 Glimmer tokens. Uh, below you have uh, the, the different delegations that I already participated in. So Masternode, Moonly, and Beware Labs. Uh, if I want to unbond, it actually will take some time. Uh, so please take that into consideration if you want to unstake your Glimmer tokens. Here I'm just adding 180 just to see exactly what it is. Uh, the total is very cheap uh, in terms of a transaction fee. Uh, and of course the bonding period uh, will the transaction itself will take a very short amount of time, okay? Um, so in order to start earning rewards, actually it will take um, two periods uh, or two rounds. This is approximately 12 hours. You will start uh, reviewing your rewards. Something that is actually a, a criticism uh, that I'm going to start right now talking about is how you have to keep up with the delegations. You, the reason is because they actually change the minimum bonding of Glimmer tokens every so uh, a while. And so this is actually very frustrating because you can't just leave your Glimmer tokens because some of them will not even produce any blocks, right? They won't even produce any more Glimmer tokens for you because instead of having a 50 uh, minimum bonding uh, token, they have 300 or even 400 or whatnot. Um, so it says the minimum delegation is 50 Glimmer, but in reality, these delegators or these delegations rather, the collators, the validators, they're always changing. and so. My first thought is, is it even worth it? Because I'm, I need to check it every couple of days. Uh, you know, if, if you really believe in the project like I do, I probably will you know, every two to three days. Uh, but it's frustrating in the sense that I have to keep on you know, either switching the delegations, remove or even add Glimmer tokens, uh, which could become very problematic. Uh, so here I just had some extra Glimmer that I bought on a centralized exchange and I added for each delegation. Um, and voila, here is exactly how you stake Glimmer tokens. Okay, now I, I, uh, I want to switch gears a little bit more towards a review. I actually updated the screen. This is a um, recording in a different day. Today I'm recording what we see right now. Uh, this is more of a critique, a review, some of my thoughts uh, where you could see the latest staking rewards, the delegations. If I hover over the master node 24, I see that it's not generating rewards. Why? Because the bond is not enough for both of Beware Labs and Masternode, right? Moonly is actually the only one that is uh, making me uh, generate rewards. And so they keep on upping up the amount of Glimmer tokens because I'm not part of the top 300. So in a way, I have to compete. Here is a really nice website that I'll put below inside of the link um, on stakeglimmer.com. This is a really nice website. Uh, just to show you the list of different collators, the validators, uh, what is exactly the minimum amount of bond, the position, um, and of course their names, right? Um, this is it's just a really nice uh, uh, way to find, do research, and know a little bit more about it. Um, we'll do a little bit more research exactly on how to use this um, dashboard for a different time. Uh, but here you can see on the top right that there's actually a current APR of 29%. Uh, and voila, 